Are you ready to learn about one of the most critical components of your overall health and well-being? Welcome to our latest video, where we'll be diving deep into the fascinating world of gut health. From the gut-brain connection to the microbiome, we'll cover everything you need to know about why your gut is so crucial to your health. So grab a seat and get ready to discover the importance of gut health and how it can revolutionize the way you approach your overall wellness. What is gut health? Believe it or not, the gut microbiome is the foundation of the human body's health. Good gut health occurs when there is a balance between good, beneficial, and bad, potentially harmful, bacteria and yeast in your digestive system. In fact, about 80% of your immune system is located in your gut, as is most of your serotonin. This means that if your gut isn't healthy, your immune system and hormones won't work as well, and you'll get sick. Unfortunately, it is also the cause of autoimmune diseases such as Hashimoto's disease. Why is gut health so important for our overall health and well-being? As mentioned earlier, your gut is the basis of everything. It helps you digest the food you eat, absorbs nutrients, and uses them to nourish and maintain your body. So if your gut is out of balance and your immune system isn't working properly, your serotonin levels and hormones won't be working either, making it much harder to stay healthy. Your intestines are also where your body removes metabolic waste and toxins. But if your gut is unhealthy, it will be difficult for your body to eliminate these toxins on its own. When this happens, it can lead to a number of problems, including chronic fatigue, chronic disease, and systemic inflammation. This is why people experience brain fog, diarrhea, constipation, gas, joint pain, and more. You may not realize it, but your brain is your second stomach. So if your gut isn't working, your brain is struggling too. If you're digging the content on our channel, show some love and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more informative videos like this one. What does good gut health look like? These friendly bacteria make up the intestinal flora, especially in the large intestine. Unfortunately, some common bad bacteria join their ranks. A healthy gut means the good bacteria outnumber the bad, and the bad outnumber the good. The balance of bacteria in your gut flora can have many health benefits, including reducing inflammation that can lead to heart disease and reducing the risk of obesity. People with a healthy gut have more energy throughout the day. It might be a small thing, but if you feel good about your gut health, you're doing well overall. What factors affect our gut health? While many factors can contribute to poor gut health, some of the most common include Stress. This increases intestinal permeability, leaky gut, disrupting the balance between bad bacteria and good bacteria in the gut. Poor diet. Most people eat processed foods and sugar which can harm the good bacteria in the gut and cause or cause inflammation throughout the body. Antibiotics. Long-term use of antibiotics and antacids both reduce the amount of vitamin B12 in the gut, which is essential for cell production, brain function, and energy. They also kill the good bacteria in your gut. However, it is essential to note that there is a time and place for these medications, but it is best to consult your doctor before using them. What are the symptoms of an unhealthy gut? Unhealthy intestines can appear in the form of gas, bloating, constipation, and diarrhea, but they can also be shown in many other forms. Autoimmune diseases such as Hashimoto's disease, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and multiple sclerosis, MS, where the immune system attacks different parts of the body, can also be a symptom of an unhealthy gut. Brain fog, poor concentration and memory, Fatigue, chronic pain, headaches, trouble sleeping, and loss of appetite or mood are also symptoms and key indicators of a poor microbiome. What steps can someone take to get a healthy gut or improve it? Fortunately, many patients believe that they can control their level of stress, practice honest thoughts and eat a healthy diet. They get 7-8 to eight hours of sleep and exercise every night to balance their microbial groups and cure the intestinal tract. 
However, a subset of patients may require more than just these things, but it's important to start with these things first. I tell my patients to eat a balanced diet, stay hydrated, exercise regularly, and get a good night's sleep, pretty much all things you need to do for your overall health. Staying healthy will help maintain a healthy gut. The same habits that are bad for the rest of your body, like smoking and drinking too much alcohol, can also be bad for your microbiome. Avoid unnecessary medications and discuss with your doctor how your current medications may affect your gut health. Limiting the consumption of dairy products, red and processed meat, and refined sugar can also improve gut health. It's also essential to get the suggested amount of fiber, 20 to 40 grams per day, depending on your age and gender. Foods such as fruits, veggies, whole grains, nuts, and seeds are sources of healthy fiber that you can add to your diet. Most Americans don't follow these guidelines, so I generally recommend keeping a food diary to track your intake. Should I take a probiotic? There are many health claims associated with probiotics about what these good bacteria can do for the health and well-being of the average person. Over the last 100 years of clinical research, we've learned that probiotics can help ward off disease-causing microbes, aid digestion, help us absorb nutrients, improve the immune system, and reduce IBS symptoms, including constipation and diarrhea. Some studies show that probiotics can even help manage allergies and eczema, prevent vaginal and urinary tract infections, prevent pouchitis, and keep ulcerative colitis in remission. They can also improve the health of people with serious chronic conditions such as type 2 diabetes. Of the countless strains of probiotics, no strain is known to act as a cure-all or simple preventative for these conditions. But still, limited research suggests that a rich internal microbiome, including a variety of probiotics and nutrients, can support a healthy digestive system and a well-functioning immune system. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of gut health. We hope that you've gained valuable insights and knowledge that you can apply to your daily life. Remember, taking care of your gut is not just about what you consume but also about how you live. So make sure to prioritize your gut health, nourish your body with wholesome foods, and give it the care and attention it deserves. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay healthy and keep exploring.